Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be having a look at my capsule for this month. Uh, I do a capsule um, for my journaling every month and I keep it in this little like plastic drawer thing. They're just over beside my desk here um, on a little shelf. I have these plastic drawers and I have this one little drawer which is exclusively used for my capsule for the month. Um, and I had a request to, to share a little bit more about this, so I thought, what a great idea, let's, let's do this. So on Instagram every month, I share, at the beginning of the month, I share my pieces that go into the capsule, and then, um, mid-month I try and do like a little update, somewhere in the middle of the month, kind of, um, on how I'm going, and then at the beginning of the next month I let you guys know, if I actually achieved the challenge and used up all the pieces or if there was something left. So we are going to jump in and make our July capsule. So basically what this capsule is, is every month I create a little drawer filled with bits of ephemera and stickers and tags and journal cards and envelopes and all sorts of random things. Um, and it's normally around 55 pieces. That's a pretty arbitrary number. Um, based off of really the first time I did it, I just put some pieces in a container and counted them and there was 55 and I, and I liked that amount. Um, but you don't have to do that. If you wanted to do a capsule, it doesn't have to be 55. That's just what I do. Um, so basically we are going to go ahead and put some items into this little container here. Um, and I'll continue talking about my capsule. So I'm like I said, I'm looking for 55 items around about 55 sometimes there's a little less sometimes there's a little more I'm not like hard and fast on how many I have to have um but I just pick out some things and try and use them so this is a pouch of wintery based things it's winter here in New Zealand so I kind of base the pieces that I'm choosing for this on um making or I just try and make sure that they kind of seem relevant I'm not going to go and put like all of this beach related stuff in my winter capsule because it's not going to go with anything I'm doing so that would be silliness so I'm just going to kind of look through here and see if there's anything I want to include do I want to include snow fairies it is winter but I am really doubtful that we'll have any snow at the moment um it's just the beginning of winter here and I don't really think we're going to have snow I've got a bunch of these like six by six pieces of paper in here that I thought kind of gave me slightly more wintry vibes um, so I'm going to choose maybe one or two of these to include maybe in this capsule, because why not? Um, yeah, these are all really bluey, purpley, dark looking. Oh, I kind of like this one. This one's got these green leaves with this gold foil on it. So let's choose that one out. Um, the purpose of these capsules is because basically I hoard stuff. I'm a real hoarder of my supplies and of my, my pretty things. Um, and so basically having these this challenge for myself that I've got to use the whole box of stuff up in the month makes me use stuff. Uh, it's been really, really good for me as far as getting myself to use things up um, instead of hoarding them. Look, here's the word July. Let's put that in there because I'm not going to use that any other month, am I? Um, what else? So basically my little um, pouches here that I've got, I just sort of put seasonal stuff in them. Um, I don't know if I want that. These, I like this. <laughs> this is cute. These are like little, um, protection for body extremities. All of these little like warm weather outfits. Um, so that's cute. These little cards making a snowman. Again, I think this is going to be more relevant August, September, October probably. So I think I'm not going to use those. Um, these little people wrapped in blankets. I love that. Let's put that in. Um, it's a big blanket. Don't know if I want to use that or not. This little bundle of firewood. Could use that for sure. We're definitely lighting the fire every day at the moment. Or basically every day if we're home. Um, a feast for Matariki. I'm going to put that in because uh, Matariki is this month. Matariki is the Māori New Year here in New Zealand. Um... And that's, I think, on the 14th of July. So I'll put that in there and that'll help remind me that I should use that. Um, what else do I have in here? I I was given this in some Happy Mail and I love it to pieces. And I'm going to put it in my capsule this month because um, it's one of those things that I absolutely love it so much I'm going to hoard it. And I want it to be put in one of my journals where I can look at it over and over and it's safe and it's found a spot. 
So I'm going to put it in the capsule so that we know to use it um, instead of just continuously hoarding. Uh, what have I got here? Look at these little birds in the snow. I actually have a few. I might even look in my other thing. Hang on. Hang on, guys. I'm getting to the end of this. So this is a little sticker set from Artariki too. So I'll put that into there as well. So I remembered because of those little cards that I actually have this whole little set of Woodland Happy Families cards. And they're so cute. Um, and they are more like cozy kind of imagery. So let's have a look and see if there's any of them that I want to include. When I got it, it was from an op shop, just like a secondhand thing for a dollar. And all, not all the cards were there, I don't think. So I have happily been using them in my journal because look how freaking cute they are. So cute. So I'll just decide if there's any in here that I would like to add into my journal for the month. Um, if there's any that looks like super cozy and wintry. I like this little guy reading. He could go in there. This little badger doing the laundry. Oh, they are so cute. I just really am obsessed with these little things. Um, they're really sweet little images. I love them. Um, I'm just seeing if there's any more that just really feel like this season for me. Oh, reading in bed. Mm, mm, love that. Um, but I don't need two reading ones, so let's actually do that one now and put this one back because I have been reading in bed recently and loving it. Loving it. There's another little reading frog. Save this creepy tadpole one for August. Maybe my sister's having a baby in August, so that one might be more relevant for me then. Um, so let's put in that master hedgehog. I love that. He's reading in bed and that feels really... Just the vibe that I've been having at, the, having at the moment. I've been really loving reading in bed. Oh, I'm just seeing these little pouches. I just have stuff everywhere. I have these little pouches. Um, little like coin envelope almost things. I really think I love them. I know I love them. Um, I might actually use this one. How do I open it here? Because um, this is my birthday month. It's my birthday tomorrow when I'm filming this. Uh, I think actually the day that this comes out, because I'm planning on maybe posting it tomorrow. So the day that this comes out, it might actually be my birthday. Um, but this is a little cake with a chicken in it, and I think it's so cute. So let's put that in there. Um, I'm also just really loving like goldy colours, like orange and mustard and brown and stuff at the moment. So that's like right in the, in the colour palette that I'm really liking at the moment. What else can we pull out? I have things everywhere, so I'm, I've got lots of little drawers and all sorts of things. So, let's see what's in here. This is stickers. This is not even close to all of my stickers. This is a tiny number of my stickers. Look at this one. Let's put that in the capsule for this month. It's a sticker from Redbubble. It's so cute. And they're all co cozied up with blankets and a coffee or a tea. I love it. I hope that you guys, I'll move this capsule out of the way so I can put this down and then you guys can also see kind of what I'm looking at here. I love these red bubble stickers so much. Comfy vibes, this little badger having stew or soup. This wizard that says good morning with his coffee. Oh, they're so cute. I love this one. I cannot live, laugh, love in these conditions. So funny. Um, Maybe we'll choose one of these really beautiful cat stickers. Which one do I feel like gives me the most beautiful cozy vibes? Maybe this one here. I like it so much. This is from Embellished Studios. Um, I'll leave her linked below. I follow her on Instagram and she makes these gorgeous stickers on Redbubble. So I'm going to put that one in the capsule too and use that up because I really do hoard my stickers and I don't need to because they're not that expensive. I can buy them again on Redbubble if I want to. Um, so there's no need to hoard. What else do I have in here? Is there anything else that's just jumping out at me? I'm normally not looking so much for like full sticker sheets because they're going to be really hard to use up, but just single stickers I can use. I can get them used up. So that is good. Do I, let's go with this one. This is just a, like a label kind of sticker there in this beautiful blue color. So let's put that one in there. Um, let's put this star strip. That will be good for Matariki too. And I've held on to this for a long time. So that can go in my capsule for this month. 
Um, what else? I hope that I'm on frame. I'm trying to keep in, in, in the screen and also be able to look in here myself. Um, ooh, what else do I want to use? What else feels nice and wintry? Because it is so wintry at the moment. It's absolutely been freezing. Ooh, and my little electric blanket that I keep in my craft room. It's like an electric throw blanket. So you're supposed to like put it over you rather than under your sheet. Um, and yeah, I have one in my craft room because I get very cold in here. It's a very old and cold house. Um, and so I keep one in my craft room and it stopped working. And I'm so sad because it's what keeps me warm in here. Um, yeah, so I think actually my husband is in town today and I told, I told him this morning that it's not been working. I think he's going to get me a new one. So that would be nice. Um, because it's, I, I have it on every day in the winter. I, I need it. It's so cold. Um, yeah, so I just need it. <laughs> I get too cold in here otherwise. It's absolutely freezing at the moment. Um, I think we were down in the minuses overnight last night, which is very cold. And we didn't have a fire going because we'd been out. Um, anything else I want in here I think maybe I'm good I think I've, I've, I don't normally pull a whole lot of stickers I normally just try and pull a few things from a variety of different kind of stuff so let's see how far we've gone you guys are getting the real view on how long this kind of takes me to pull together all of my capsule for the month so we've got one two three four five six I'm counting this as just one so seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 pieces in there so far. So we've still got quite a ways to go. I am now going to have a look in this drawer. If I can wrangle it out. It's really hard to get this one out because of where my desk is. But this has got some Happy Mail things. I keep a lot of my Happy Mail in here, but it's getting so full. And I just have recently received um, all this Happy Mail. <laughs> and it doesn't fit in my Happy Mail drawer, so I'm going to need to use some stuff. So... This is a perfect opportunity. Let's pop our capsule back up here and start having a little look in this Happy Mail box. Actually, this is not Happy Mail. This can go out of there because that takes up a lot of space. Um, let's pull out some items from the Happy Mail box. Let's choose this one because it is my birthday month, so I could use this Hooray maybe. That's so cute. Um, and please forgive me. That's also not Happy Mail, so that can go out of there too. Let's see if there's any in here that I like though. He's so cute, isn't he? Ugh. Yeah, I've used that. I think I've used this blue one a couple of times, but it's so cute. So let's let's pull out this one because it's the one on top, and we'll pop him in the capsule. Isn't he cute, Pom Pom Perrin? He's so cute. Okay, I've got these beautiful things recently from Jess, who is Love Rain Journals. Oh my gosh, I get that confused every time I try and say it. Um, these are so pretty. So I think I might try and use this little tag in my journal for this month because it's so lovely oh and let's actually choose out a butterfly too that she sent me I think she said they're from Dollar Tree or Dollar Store some sort of dollar store in um, the States they're absolutely so stunning and I want to hoard them because they're the most beautiful things in the world but let's choose this one because this one you know these both of these two kind of give me those more dark wintry vibes I'm going to choose this one because I've been loving orange so that one can go in this beautiful mail. Oh, I love it. This is from Bad Jones Rising. I am a patron of hers. Um, I want to use these, but they are really watermelon themed and that feels a bit summery. So we won't use them at this stage. This is also not Happy Mail. So again, don't know why it's in here, but this is like just the top part of a calendar that I got like in a big haul thing that I picked up of stuff at one point. Look at this bag. Oh my gosh, I love it. Sitting there, looking out at the sea. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm thinking there's nothing in there that's really making me happy. So, well, they all make me happy, but they're not feeling like winter to me. Um, These are all from Jen Hall, who's Painty Hands Art. These are also beautiful. Oh, hang on guys, sorry my phone's ringing. Okay, sorry about that. That was my husband ringing me. He is in the city and picking up groceries and he wanted to know what we needed. So, 
Sorry about that little interruption. This cute little calendar, I'm going to pull out the little July calendar. July 2023. Let's pull, peel that little one off and stick that in the capsule because it's not going to be able to be used at any other point, is it? Um, ooh, what else do I want to use? Some of these are really beautiful. I'm going to choose this beautiful coffee dyed one or maybe it's not coffee dyed. Maybe it's some sort of inkiness, but it's so pretty and it's got all those warm browns and goldy colours, so that's beautiful. Um, ooh, what else do I have in here? What else? So many gorgeous things in here. Look at that sweet dog. Got a bunch of like book pages down the bottom too. Um, what? I don't know what's happening. My phone started to flash again and I didn't know if my husband was trying to ring me again or not. But I think we're all good. Um, let's see what we've got in the bottom here. This little thing's cute. Let's put that in the capsule. Why not? This is January. February. This is so cute. Look at these beautiful little images. November. But obviously this... Uh, what is it called? Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady or something. It's all opposite months compared to where I am in the world. Um, so I think, you know, July for us is like December for the Northern Hemisphere. So we'll see what I can find in here that, that looks good for me. Oh, look at that. That's like such a beautiful little spring page. Look how cute these are. Oh, doing their laundry and the sun's out. Well, that would be lovely. I've got, I've always got laundry out, but there's no sun. So, had a little bit of sun today, though, which was really nice. But, we've had very little sun recently. Um, is there anything in amongst these book pages that feels right for the season, for the winter season? It all feels quite spring summery to me. Um, anything down in here? These are so gorgeous. This is cool. Oh, I like that. That's a starry night. And this looks kind of wintry to me. So I'm going to put that in my capsule. I really like that. What's this little thing here? Just a little interesting page um, from a magazine. Hmm. Okay, I think I might be good as far as what's in this drawer. I'm not doing a very good job of reducing the number of things I have in that drawer am I gonna have to do a proper go through of that drawer or find some other way of storing my happy mail or something that gives me a bit more room because I've got too much happy mail uh let's have a look in there in this happy mail here that I've got next to me as well this one you guys might have seen recently up on my youtube channel I shared all of this as a like the haul that I got of this amazing happy mail I unboxed it all and it's just amazing um, so I'm just going to check in here and see if there's anything that gives me winter winter vibes in here. Or it doesn't have to be winter. It just has to be not another season. I love this little Instagram piece. That can go on my capsule for this month. Like hibiscus, this feels too summery for me for the middle of winter, you know. Well, beginning of winter, but it's freezing. It's freezing. Um, so let's just see what I've got. Oh, I love these. She sent me these beautiful starry papers. Maybe I'll add those in because they would be really nice for winter. These beautiful postcards. Oh, she sent me so many beautiful things. Oh, my goodness. Um, oh, let's choose one of these little labels. They are so cute. Let's go with this top one because that's just easy. To tear off so that can go in the capsule for this month. I love it. Oh la la, so many beautiful things. Uh, I actually want to use this one too. This is just so nostalgic to me. I love that. Beach things is probably not going to be what I use for this month because it's not feeling very beachy. Um, not with how freezing it is. I know I've just said that over and over again, so please forgive me, but. It's really cold. It's so cold at the moment. Um, we could use this little cute piece with the little tab on it. I love that. Oh, that's one I already used. Um, let's use this little Good Times card as well. I actually might use this one. It's kind of got snowy mountains and a road. We're going away on a trip soon and this feels like road trip kind of 
image. So I like that. That could go in there. Um, is there anything else that feels right? Oh, let's do this one. This one's about joy. This little definition. That feels good for this month. want to be bringing in the joy. So let's, let's say that that's what we'll use out of this for this month. Now I've got to try and carefully scoop it all back up again. And pop it into... I'm going to pop it back into this after we're done. I ask you guys are going to have to sit there watching me struggle bus away with that for a bit. Okay, let's actually, I've decided, let's have a look in my little Project Life cards bin here. Um, and I'll see if there's any little, oh, these are not all Project Life cards, but they're all that kind of smaller sized cards. Um, so I'm going to have a look in here and see if there's anything that I like the look of, that feels like I would want to use it this month. Oh, I like this little Don't Forget list. Don't know why it's in here. It's not really a card at all. Um, what else do I like? I mean, I like all or most of these anyway. But what feels good? A lot of them are very, like, summery, I think. Very springy, summery, like, really warm weather looking cards, so... Got to try and look for some things that look a bit more wintry. Mm. No, it's got cherries on it. That feels very summer. And I hope you guys can see kind of what I'm doing. Oh, I would pull this one out, but it says Hello Sunshine on the back, so no. And also, I don't want any detours on our trip. I just want it to all go smoothly. Let me just instead pull out a bit of a chunk and we'll work through it from here. And see if we can find anything. That's cute. Me, you, us. And currently, I like that one. So let's put that in there. We will not be going camping this month. I do not believe. Uh, love begins at home. Ice cream is not really this month's kind of a thing. Um, this is a beautiful colour. That one's just like a plain, plain one. So I might pull that out and just see if we want to use it. Oh, we could put in a... Where is it? Where is can here? Cancer. That is my star sign. And it's what we're in at the moment. So we could use that. Um what else do I want to use from in here? You guys are getting a real view of how slow this process can be for me when I am trying to decide on my capsule items for the month. Do I want to use this? What does that say? Blah, blah, blah. Last person I phoned. I don't use the phone very often, if I can help it at all. I don't really love talking on the phone too much. Um, is there anything else? What is this? This is just a cute little pocket with this map and that. So that's really cute. We'll put that in. Oh, let's do Make-A-Wish. This is a paint card, but, you know, that feels right for a birthday, doesn't it? Um, anything else? Got a little index card. What are you, rosy cheeks? Mm. Anything else? Anything else? I wonder if these... What I've written on these ones. These ones have got, like, place names, so I'm looking to see if any of them have any relevant places to me for this month. No. Um, oh, we've got Explore and Backstory on the back. I like that one. We'll put that one in. Um, because we are going on that little holiday, little mini holiday this month. You learn from the part of the story you focus on. Oh, I like that. Let's put it in there. I like that. Um, so let's pack these up. Put them back into this little container. And then we'll have a look in my slightly bigger cards box. I've got another one that's for the larger sized project life cards and postcards and things like that so oh, knocking things over that's where we're at so far excuse me if i'm right in there um this is my larger cards in this wooden box so let's have a look in here and see what we've got um these are some cute fairy cards too i love these fairy queen daisy fairy Theory. I actually think somewhere I might have a birthday fairy one, which would be cute for my birthday. Um, any of these? These are so cute as well, these little creatures. 
Let's put a little squirrel in. That's cute. Um, what about these? These are these mental health. Oh, that broke. Mental health postcard things. It's alright to talk it out. It's alright to take a breather. It's alright to keep ticking along. It's alright to share some kai, which means food. It's alright to feel a bit all over the place. It's alright to take some downtime. It's alright to keep the faith. It's alright to reach out. When was the, your last moment of wonder? When did you last get caught up in the moment? I don't think I'm going to put any of those in my capsule, but I want to try and remember that they're there and try and use them if they feel right. Um, what else do I have in here? Look at that. It's so pretty. I'm going to put this one in. I love those greens. They're really beautiful. Um, this one, I could use this. It says today. This is just helping me not hoard my stuff because these things can sometimes sit in here for a really long time. And it's good to just be able to use them and enjoy them. Um, so, what are you? This is pretty with the birds. I like that. What else? I don't want to pick too many cards though because sometimes I can get a bit heavy on the cards and then have nothing else that I want to use with them. Um, oh, those ones are really cool. From, they're like from the office. Um, oh, this one's one from Jenna Clenard Harris. She's an amazing artist. I love this. I think I'm going to include this maybe in my capsule this month too. Um, she is one, again, I follow on Instagram, um, but I get some things of hers from Redbubble. It's so fun. What have I got in here? Oh, that's another phone call one. Oh, this is cute. Oh, that's just moved though. I don't, I'm not moving. Um, you're the bee's knees. Oh, I think I'm going to use that one. I like that. Um, I probably don't need any more cards to be honest. So I could probably put these away. I'm just sort of really quickly flipping through in case something just jumps out at me. Like you need to use this this month. Um, but yeah, no, I think I'm good. Pop that back again. Sorry, I'm reaching right in under the camera. Put that back there. Now let's do a little count up of where we're at. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Okay, so we need like 10, 9 or 10 more things um, for me to feel good about that. So I'm going to have a look in here and see if there was a birthday fairy card. Um, or something like a cute, I thought that I had a birthday thing. This is my pouch of birthday related goodies. So if I can find something really cute. Oh, look. The birthday fairy. I'm going to put that in there. That's so cute. And it's my birthday. So I want to add some of my cute birthday stuff in there. Um, now what else could I pull from? I have just like lots of other little like tins and buckets and containers sorry I'm just popping up because I'm trying to look for where I've put it here's one I've got one of these pretty tins and I just have a whole bunch of stuff in it um and so basically I just pull from what can I find in this tin of random stuff what could I use this month um so I'll just have a little dig through and see if there's anything in here that takes my fancy I'll move this out of the way again so that I can try and sort of get on camera here we've got a cook a painter let's use this cook one because I do cook a lot and I've been watching a lot of MasterChef so we'll put that little cook image in there I'm sure I can use that um there's a lot of more spring summer things in there um like mermaids and things like that what else do I have um, I'm just digging through to see if I can find anything that's just jumping out at me as this is something for the month. Hmm. 
so you guys i honestly have so many of these buckets of things like i've got a lot of stuff a lot of stuff i'm very lucky um um oh i love this let's put that in there that's so so beautiful um Anything else that I love? A goldfish? No. A whale? A seahorse? I've got a lot of these, the Wiggles cards. I don't know why I have so many of them. I don't think I'll use them. <laughs> I need to figure out what I'm going to do with those. Um, okay, so what about these little things? They're kind of fun. I don't know that I'll use them though. Um, so let's put that tin back and grab another one. Here's another little tin of random selection of stuffs. Um, what can I find in here that would be cute for this? Hmm. Why don't we choose one of these beautiful, beautiful labels? How cute is that? Let's put one of those in there. Because I've hoarded those for quite a while now. Probably two or three years. Because they're beautiful. Um... What else is in here? Let's put this. Oh, this is actually really pretty. This is a slide of the Queen. Nope, it's not. Princess Alexandra Wedding. It looks like the Queen. Maybe it is the Queen from Princess Alexandra's Wedding. I don't know. I don't know. Um, what do I have in here? So I don't have to use all of these things in my main personal journal. I can use them anywhere in my main journaling or in my um, other stuff. I can put them in Happy Mail. I can put them anywhere. I just have to get them used up by the end of the month. It doesn't matter how, just so that it's done. Um, so that's, that's the goal is we just have to get it done by the end of the month. Look at this. This is another happy birthday. Happy birthday or whatever. Now... Make yourself useful and feed me. That's so funny. Oh, I love that. Um, come on, there's got to be more stuff in here that I could use that I would... Well, I mean, I could use any of this, couldn't I? Let's be real. I'm choosing to not use it. Just a quick hello from editing Lydia. I just wanted to say that while I am not choosing these things for my capture, it doesn't mean that I can't use them throughout the month, obviously. I can use anything I want to use at any point in the month. It's not about what I can or can't use. It's about what I have to use. So what's in my capsule are the things that I have to try and use this month. Um, of course, I can pull anything from anywhere all the way throughout the month. That's no worries. Um, it's not the only stuff I can use. It's just the things I have to use. I hope that makes sense. Um, let's put this little teeny tag in there. I've got another tin here somewhere. Hang on. Here's a bunch of more stuff. I keep it everywhere. Um, so let's see what's in this one. It's just so much random stuff. You guys are getting a real behind the scenes look as to all of the chaos that is my craft room. All of these very random tins of, of things. Um... Let's pick out one of these little cat reading. Let's go with this little cat reading there. I like that. That one's cute. Okay, now how many things have we found? I don't think we've probably found 10 yet. So I think we'll probably have to just find like a couple more. Here's another tub. If I pull this out, I can just tell you everything's going to fall. So I'm going to have to do this in a really sneaky way. Oh, oh, oh. I'm readjusting. I don't want everything to fall. So... Here we go. What's in here that we could possibly want to use? It's another lot of good stuff. Want to dance? That's cute. Um, what else do I have? I like this tag that I made a long time ago. Let's put that in there. Um, Oh, here's a little car. Let's use that because we're obviously going on a little road trip soon. So that could come in handy for that. 
Although my car doesn't really look like that. I have a red car and I actually, we might be going in my husband's truck yet. I'm not sure, which is a big white truck. So, I don't know. It still, it works. It still documents that we're driving. Um, what else do I have? What's this? This is a blank card. Some cute little, like, die cut things. Oh, I should have looked at my other die cut section. Could look there too, couldn't I? What about this envelope? I haven't used any envelopes really, so we'll put that envelope in. That's that'll work. Um, anything else that's grabbing my eye? Mm, no, <laughs> nothing. Oh wait, wait, wait. What did I see? I like this foiled vellum butterfly piece that's cute look at the chaos that that container is that's nuts um and then like i said i have another little pouch somewhere 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 um of like cute die cut things like scrapbooking die cuts so i'm gonna just have a look at what collections i've got here i've got a lot of the fancy pants ones i really love them um I feel like these memory lane ones are um, like autumny, wintery kind of more, so they might work. Uh, I'm just trying to remember which collection is which. Yeah, I think we're going to have a look in the memory lane ones. I actually think I might choose out. Oh, that one's busting out the side here. Uh, I might choose some of these label pieces. They're a little bit more autumny, really, but they are still so cute. Um, they're so cute. And look at these. These are really cute. Home. I love that. I'm going to use that home tag, I think. Um, and I think... Let's choose out another something. I wanted one of the labels, maybe. Let's choose this cute label. And then this cute little rabbit, maybe. No, maybe not now. Rabbits feel more other times of years to me um anything i'm just having a look on the back to see if there's anything in these that are kind of jumping out at me um it could be really usable for this sort of thing um, i've got a lot of these beautiful fancy pants ones they're so lovely a lot of them are a bit i like these these are about like working that could be good because I want to do some good working this month. Um, so let's have a look in there and see what we can find. Believe in yourself. Passion plus consistency equals success. Big dream. Hard work. Best life. Your goals. Unstoppable. Be you. Do you. For you. I like that. Do whatever makes your soul shine. Be pretty. Pretty smart. Pretty brave. Pretty kind. Happy girls are the prettiest. She designed a life she loved. I love that one. I'm going to put that one in. Um, little pro I like this one too. Okay. I think we're probably pretty good now. I reckon we'd probably be getting close to 55. And it doesn't have to be bang on 55. Let me just get these things popped back in these little pouches. Where they go. And we can pop them back away in here. Um, and then, yeah. Oh, look, this one says the weekend is here. I'll put that in my capsule too. Why not? They can all go back away, back away, and then these all need to go. Oh, you guys go out of the way. Um, I'll stick these back into this little thing. Alrighty. Whatever we've got here now, I think will be amazing. So let's count them up one more time. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 
43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. Oh, we've gone higher than I thought. 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. Oh my goodness. Well, we've got 61 for this month then. That's that's a lot, but I can do it. I believe in myself. I've done I've done capsules up in the 60s before, so I think I can do it. Um, so that is how I put them together. I just basically shuffle through all the stuff I'm hoarding, pull out things that I think could be usable for the month, um, up to the number of around 55, in this case 61. Um, and now they're in this little drawer that will go beside my desk. And every day when I'm, well, you know, whenever I'm journaling about each day, I pull out my little drawer and I pick out anything that I think could work on the page somehow. If I could make it work or if it really matches, you know, some of these, excuse me, I'm hiccuping. Some of these things um, I could be like, whoa, oh, explore. This was a day we were out on a holiday and we we're exploring. That is like exactly what I want for this. But then other days it might be like, well, I just need a pocket. So I'll use this one because it's in my capsule and that just makes sense. You know, it doesn't have to match anything else. It's just, it's there. So I'll use it instead of making something else or, I mean, making something else is great, but you know, um, actually using some of the things that you already have is very good because I don't know about you, but I collect and collect and collect and collect and collect and have so much stuff and I need to just some of, <laughs> use up some of the stuff that I've got. So that's my capsule for this month, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing my little process. Um, over the course of the month, I will be using these up in my journal, which is... Oh, where is my July journal now? Here it is. You guys haven't seen it yet. I've shared it on my Patreon. Here is my July journal. It's just so pretty. I love it. It's got the Matariki stars up here. Um, it's all ready to go for July. I've already got some things tucked in here. It's July 1st already. Um, so I've got a few bits in there and it's going to be filled up with a lot of this stuff, if not all. Um, although some of it might go into other journals or projects of other sorts that I'm working on too, which is absolutely fine. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed seeing the process of this. It's a little bit scattered because that's honestly how I work when I'm putting these capsules together. I'm all over the show. Um, and it takes me a long time and eventually we get somewhere and we end up with a capsule and that is how I get my stuff used. It really works for me. If you guys like this and try it out, let me know. I would love to see your capsules. I'd love to know what number of items you've chosen uh, and I'd love to see what you've got in it and how you're using it. I just really enjoy this process. So if you um, decide you're going to do it too, let me know. I'd love to chat with you about it. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you again in my next video. Bye, friends.